Hello and hello, everyone. My name is Helix Rushheart. Welcome back for some more. Let's play Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes. Cortex Strikes Back. Sorry for my stuttering. Here on Velvet Room Gaming. Quit dancing, Crash. We got work to do. Going up. So in the last episode, we finished. We finished off the entire first war for room by going through Hang Eight. The Pits and Crash Dash, defeating Ripper Roo, descend, des, uh, ascending to the second warp room, and then entering Air Crash and going to the hidden warp room, which is down below us, to go to Snow Ghost Red Gem Path, as you see as the Red Gem here. Now, we ascend back to the second warp room. But here's where things start getting a little bit messy. You see Snowbiz right here. It's gonna get harder, ladies and gentlemen. Really harder. Here we go. And who knows, depending on how long it takes, I may have to do this. In two parts, like I did within the last episode. Last two episodes. It may come down to it. Ah. So let's begin. So I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. It's a few days after Christmas. This is your story recording, so... Hiya! Doing. So, welcome to Snowbiz, our second Arctic level. This level ha holds no strings. I will say that right now. If you thought the red getting the get, getting doing the death course to get the red gem was annoying, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I think you're sadly mistaken. It's not any easier. As you see here, the porcupines return from the red gem death course. But are you sure you want to take that chance? Here we go. It's not gonna get any easier, I promise you. And instantly we're thrown into hell. Now, for this death course, you have checkpoints, meaning you can you have to complete this level in one setting. But there's another there's another um Arctic level later on in the fourth work room called Cold Hard Crash, which is pretty infamous among Crash players. Those that don't know about this level... Yeah. Run. Run for your life. Cold Hard Crash is not what you want to be dealing with. Yes, it's, a, it's an Arctic level, but it's one that no one wants to deal with due to the fact that the level requires you to kill yourself why, though? It makes zero sense. I'll tell you why. Later on, when we reach Cold Heart Crash, when we reach it. So, this is the death course for the Red Gem. Well, not to get the Red Gem, but this is the Red Gem death course. In this course, you got plenty of hazards thrown at you. We got TNT nitros, TNT crates. You get the penguins, eels, of course, as your natural. You got your porcupines or echidnas, whatever the fuck they are. Then we have this segment. We have these crushers. That, that, that will well crush you, of course. That when if we detect uh, movement. Now, I streamed with my um, my uh, lovely dragon, my dragon hubby, Shiron ninety one, yesterday, and he went through uh, this death course, struggling, and he killed himself getting these. Why, Shiron? Did you do that? I have no clue. But I'll figure it out sooner or later. 
But at least this level is a lot easier than you can think. It's not. You'd be like, oh, I'm gonna kill you instantly right off the bat. No, 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 no. This level will throw you hard curveballs. This warp room entirely will. Fucking tits. Okay, fine, fine. We're good. We're still all good in the hood. What most not mu or what not oh snap. Stuttering. Not good. What most crash players what ugh, what most crash players don't know is that you have to have timing. This level is not kind to those who are impatient. Sharon, I'm talking to you. Most people are not patient with these games, with these levels. And you have to be Mm, efficient with your platforming. That being said, this level can be a bit of a challenge for those who are veteran crash players. I can't catch one fucking box. What the fuck? Eh. Eh, whatever. Doing. Wow. Bye. 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 Whoa. Almost close out there. Yeah, now we get these icicles. Icicles can be a bit of a hazard as well. Kinda is not even worth it. I would choose to put them. They're a really big hazard. You just getting close to them will put them off. See? See that shit? See that shit? Also, for those who are now subscribing to my channel, I apologize if you're late to the party, but this is, uh, what my channel is. That channel is. Mainly just me being a vulgar mess. Oh boy. So, welcome to. So, as they would say in Donkey Kong Country, welcome to your bonus stage. Or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Look, that's the game that does it. Donkey Kong 4. I don't know. There was a game that does that. Welcome to your bonus stage. I think that's. I forgot. Okay, and that was not much. I'm not. I'm going to on talking about this game. Goddamn. See, for me, Crash 2 was my first Crash game. Well, not really my first. Crash 1 was my first. And even that was difficult. Crash 2 was a lot easier. Crash 3 pushed my talent for playing Crash games to the test. And I still dislike it to this very day. For most people who were growing up, Crash 3 was their first. Not the first two. A certain YouTuber, again, like a reference in my original LP for my for Crash One, Ultimate Life from RB, and a few others played Crash Three first. And I'm sitting here thinking, why is that one first? Why not start with the very beginning? No one ever heard of Crashes One and Two. It's like saying you have not heard of Gex Gex the Pepper Gecko for PS One. Even though it's been released for the N64. It's like saying you have not heard of Perfect Dark for the N64. It's like saying you have not heard Golden uh, heard of Golden Eye for the N64. You know James Bond's Golden Eye? That was the N64 game. I mean gone for fuck's sake. These YouTubers out there that really think that they have a Higher talent when they sit because they started with Crash 3? I'm sorry, but go back to the basics. I mean it. Go back to the olden days. You get you get what you deserve. You are you 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 will you can easily call yourself a veteran gamer if you started with like a Sega 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 station game station or N64 like I did. 
I had an NES when I was growing up. A Super NES when I was growing up. I had my very first Game Boy Color when growing up. And for gamers, you need to start from the very beginning. Um, other than that, you you may or may not just call yourself a gamer at all if you don't know what old game, these old games are. Like Gradius. Gradius was a good was a, was a good schmuck. And I like Gradius for a reason. Sure, the level was, uh, the game was annoying, but eh, what can you do? So welcome back to Air Crash. We went through Air Crash on our in the last episode. We went to the because we had to hop on this platform to get to Snow Go Death Force. So here in this level, we are gonna take the um. Ahem. We're gonna go ahead and take the death course. Just to get the hell out of here. Well, hold on. Thank you. Bye. Now, that box right there is annoying. There you go. Get it. See that death course? We're gonna take it. And we're gonna take it to get the out of here. Sorry if I, I apologize for most people who are hearing my voice and they think I talk fast. And if you can't hear me, I apologize. Now, this is why I like about this death, co this death course. It, the platforms are instantly moving. This is the first thing that is greeting you. So, yeah. Now, this is a part that I would never rather... I, I'm tripping over my words. It's not funny. Now. Okay, that's good. Now we can get the hell out of here. Warning, this level, this death course is chock full of nitro and mines that will like move back and forth. But this is one of those death courses that you have to exit from the death, the, from the death course. Simple as pie. I don't know anyone who has a freaking hard time with this game. Except for a few YouTubers, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, uh... Mini lad, basically I do work. I can imagine terror. The terrorizer has trouble with this with this crap. Why do you torture torture yourself? Take your time, seriously. There we go. Air crash is done. Now it's time to go on to Barrett. really do need to do is we need lies. Rack them up. A helping paw is always needed for us first. Crash we go. Yeah. Apparently Coco doesn't get her riding animal until you know her she, her animal her animal companion Pura the tiger doesn't really appear until Crash Three, so you get your work cut out for you. But Polar we have plenty of time to spend time with. I love the polar bears riding stages; they're fun as hell. People say they're hard. Well, here's a challenge for you. Oh yes. Joink. Now we seem to be riding good on time. But that doesn't stop us, now, doesn't it? Now, here's what we need to do. Of course, just steer, polar, X to jump, and we have uh circle the dash, apparently. Watch out for these orcas, because you're not gonna last very long. Watch for these poles, watch out for the poles, and the nitro crates. The falling ice, um... Well, 
fall in the pool of ice water, you're gonna get yourself screwed. Anyway. Now that's a quick hurdle you have to take. There you go. That was quick. I swear I'm doing good at things. But the next level is gonna test my patience. And I mean it's gonna test my patience. You know, since we're going at a good pace, I believe this is gonna be the thing that may or may not test my patience. Who knows? I don't know anymore, so... Pull it out of my ass. Pull shit out of my ass. Crash, you hide your things in your ass. Crash, crush. I despise this level. You think I'm joking, ma'am. I hate this. Sl sliding can help you avoid dangerous obstacles. Oh, gee, I never would have guessed. Thank you, game. Ugh. Anyway, here's Crash Crush. It's gonna be as annoying as Crash Dash, but... Here we go. Again, George Lucas, don't sue me for this shit. Lame Activision and Vicarious Visions for making a game about a boulder chasing you. Ugh. Now, instantly, our first boulder gets trapped down into the pits. I say that's good enough evidence saying that we're home free. But, we're not technically home free, because there's a few things we have to do. Now, you see this path right here. Go down it, because we have to capture a few, get a few boxes. See? Da 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 da. We're free. We are free, he free fallen. Oh, yes, we are. Thank you, Tom Petty. But now, round numero dos. Are you shitting me? Watch out for the Euro mines, because again, those are a hazard indefinite. They'll slow you down, so just careful what you do. Next. Okay, watch that out. Whoa. Ow, my ass. Do good overalls I'm wasting here. What the fuck just happened? Whoa. Whoa. Dodge. Keep going, Coco. Move your fuzzy butt. Uh. Later. I would just break this. Wait, I thought there was a nitro crate. I think that's later on. Bosh. There we go. Now I'm gonna try and get the maximum amount of uh, of lives because there's levels later on that uh, that test your that test your stability of your sanity. I mean it, because it's not like... Ugh. Well, what I'm saying. It's kind of like saying you're going through psychotherapy. Ugh. 
But anyway, while we're going to this uh, bonus round, how was everyone's Christmas? I want to know what, in the comments below, I'd like to know what you guys got for Christmas, because it's going to be fun. Da -da -da -da. So, again, we're not home free. I think this is the final stretch or something. But, truth be told, I don't know where this last. We have to book it. This is not where we need to be. We can't be here. God damn it, run Coco. If you slow down an inch, I will kill you. God damn it! Okay, I figured this was gonna happen. I figured this was gonna happen. I don't like this level. There's a reason. There's a banded crate here that you have to break with your ass. I'm not in the mood to be breaking crates with my ass at this moment. See? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna far away distance. No 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 oh, fucking damn it. Before you say anything, no, I wouldn't be able to make it if I even tried staying on the right path. There, we're a good distance now. But we need more distance to be away from that fucking thing. Run! Coco! I mean it! Go! 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 Wow! Ah. Uh, my head hurts now. But I don't think we're done yet. Let us continue until we hit the third warp room. Then we'll have an issue on our hands. Oh, my head. There we go. She must have some really deep pockets. And how her laptop turned into a freaking gem? Don't ask. Last level for this for, for this episode that we're doing, the eel deal. Or if we have enough time, I can do Moto Brothers, which is the next boss. A special gem hides behind something fake. Well, of course that's gonna be the problem, but actually, nah, we'll save the Komodo Brothers for another episode. I think we're good. Now, I love this zombie. This music kicks ass. Now, my hubby, Shiron, couldn't even get this level right. I was trying to direct him because uh, the level, the, the, the streaming for YouTube, the, you, everyone knows the struggle of streaming because if you're doing a co-op and you're streaming, that means the video quality of the other person that's watching is um, really delayed. I hate that. It, it's not worth it. Now, if you manage to keep your Aku Akus, here's your first example. See? We're going for the green gem, right? Jump through here. And instantly, we are transported to Satan's um, warp zone. So, welcome to the green... to the death course of getting the green gem. Ow! That was not necessary.
Now, if I remember my gems right and my crash right, the the green gem in the original Crash 2 was guarded by not the Mr. Bubble Soda Soap Buds or, that were over there, but instead the green gem was guarded by a pack of those mechanical rats. That's my knowledge of it anyway, if I remember this correctly. If I'm mistaken, someone in the comments please correct me, because I have zero idea if I'm correct or not. So, the deal deal. This is like the first sewer level, and it's not bad, though there's an aspect of this level that makes zero sense. I mean it, it makes zero sense. And that was unnecessary, Mr. Rat, you m costed me an Akubaku. God damn it for fuck's sake. Ugh. Anyway. Now. Jump, jump. So, I really have nothing much else to talk about this warp room. This level is getting really close to done, but the. the Sewer levels, they can be a bit hazardous. Well, what isn't hazardous in this game? All the Crash games are, are, are having things that really just want to kill you. So, I'm not surprised. So, here's your hazard you get in the EO deal. And in the rest of the sewer level, you get, of course, your spinning windmill blades, which we've been passing and going under. You got your Mr. Bubble soda bugs jetting around. Then we got your mechanical rats, and in the water, you get your electrical eels. You get these barrels of toxic waste that act as nitro crates, because if you touch one, you blow up, and you see Crash have the didgeridoo animation when you get blown up by a nitro crate. See this? You get an electrical eel in the water. That's something you don't want to mess with. So just be careful. I don't I hate to see people picking up uh bandicoot parts. This kind of remind me of Final Destination in some way. Now, we're in, we're, now we're in a different section. Now this can be a bit of a hassle. Okay, 76 out of 79, out of 79. Now we get these mechanical drones. Ones that scurry around on the, on the, on the grates like this. And then we have another set of mechanical drones. Which we'll see in a few minutes. Those things. These spiked mechanical drones, like the ones you see that are on the grates. Well, they are a bit of an annoyance. And a big nitpick. Why is there lava in a sewer? Explain it to me, game. I love it. Coco's just skating around like da 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 da. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, what a cruel world it is. There you go, Coco. It's on your back. Deep pockets. Deep pockets. And now, something from Cortex. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult.
Oh my god, whatever, Cortex, I don't like you. Anyway, I think that'll th that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back for the PS4. If you guys liked what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more updates on my upload schedule. And if you would like to, please follow me on my Discord server. But if you also would like to, please follow me on please support me on Patreon. You'll be helping me in a greater deal that you could ever imagine. But with that being said, I'll see you, my friendly, friendly, loving, fuzzy companions, in the next episode. Bye-bye.